Hey guys, what's up? It's Tachi. What's down, Tatiana? What's down? This video is brought to you by Squarespace. More about them and their awesome, easy to use online marketing tools at the end of the video. Welcome to Rebecca to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing something new, fun, funky, fresh. It's new to me. I know a lot of these videos, everyone makes these videos. I thought it would be fun. Buckle up, grab yourself a glass of water. I'm being very corny right now. The mood is high, the energy is high. Welcome, hello. <clears throat> As you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be reacting to your unpopular opinions. Like, we're all so unique. Anyways, I'm gonna be giving my opinion on your unpopular opinions. I asked you to send me them on Instagram. I got some great replies. Just kidding, I haven't even read them yet. This is gonna be very raw and real. Let's see what we got. I'm very excited. I'm, I feel like we got some good responses. And without further ado, subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into this video. Donuts are gross. They're not though, like, they're not. Babies aren't cute. I don't know who raised you or who wronged you, but babies are cute, and if you don't think so, I don't know what to tell you. They're cute, they just are. This is probably the most popular, unpopular opinion that I got, and that is that pineapple on pizza is low-key bomb. Never in my life did I ever think that pineapple on pizza was gross. Pineapple on pizza is probably the best creation known to mankind. Salty, sweet, the combination together brings a burst of flavors unlike anything else in this entire world. The flavor of the juiciness mixed with the salty. I mean, come on, how could you not like that? Have you even tried it? I think people that haven't tried pineapple on pizza are the ones who think that it's not good because it is good. End of story, it's good. Health, mental, and physical comes before work, school, money. I don't feel like that's an unpopular opinion. I feel like that's pretty popular or maybe it's not. It's just, I, that's my personal opinion. Mental health and physical health over everything. Mental health over everything, spirituality, mental health, clarity, self-love over everything. And then everything else kind of just comes naturally and it becomes a lot easier when you focus on your mental health and your physical health. Being mentally and, health and physically strong and healthy, it's literally the perfect recipe for a beautiful and progressive and growth based life. So 100% mental health, focusing on yourself and your love for yourself and not in a narcissistic or selfish way, but in bettering myself, I'm able to better the world around me. Yes, I would absolutely 100% agree with that. Knife slash fork to eat pizza is normal. I have to agree with you there. I'm Brazilian in Brazil, we eat everything with a knife and a fork. Knife and fork with pizza is very normal in Brazil. So that feels very normal to me. I don't think it's normal in the US. Also don't get it twisted guys everyone's opinion is valid I'm not unvalidating any of your opinions these are just my opinions on your opinions no hurt feelings here we're not gonna be too sensitive about things you know we're all just having a laugh having a joke I am in doubt of climate change sometimes I don't like chocolate. That really just sounds like a personal issue. I don't really know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Orange juice is disgusting. That's the tea. That is the absolute tea. Orange juice is absolutely disgusting. Classical music is amazing. That's just the truth. It's soothing. It's inspiring. It's motivational. It feels good in the soul. feels good in the heart. All around gives you clarity, gives you focus. Anytime you're doing anything that's like, needs a lot of focus, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I love positivity, but I feel like facing your struggles is key to more positivity. I have to agree with you there. Yes, I'm very much an advocate for positivity and self-love and being your most authentic and positive self, but with that comes the authentic side of things where you do need to work through what you're going through in order to have a positive outcome and then continue on with your growth throughout your life. And so that's why I think it's very important to yes, be positive when entering new situations and when thinking about your life in general. And obviously depression is very real. Having negative emotion, having negative feeling is a very normal, very real thing. You guys are often asking me how I'm always so positive. And I think what you do have to remember is that social media is very much a slice of life. And I try to be very real as much as I can. Obviously you guys have seen me break down. You guys have seen me upset. You guys have seen me in some of my low moments. Just know that whatever you're going through, you will get through it. I know it's hard to kind of like fake positivity and that's not what I really advocate for at all. It's about finding in the core of your being in kind of just reflecting on a lot of things. And when you feel negative to reflect and when you feel like there's nothing else, the answer is inside of you. Okay, so now I'm just being like spiritual and corny. And for me, I truly believe that the answer is inside 
inside of you and within you is the spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, if you want to call it God, source energy, magnetic field of love and light is all within you. I don't know where I'm getting with this, but all I want to say is that the positivity and the light and the love is inside of you. And sometimes our circumstances can mask our view of what's really, truly important. What I really want you guys to take away from this little spiel, as well as just my content, is to not focus on your circumstances because you are not your circumstances. And once you start to identify with your circumstances, you can start to lose yourself within it. I don't know if that, any of that made sense, but I could rant about this literally forever. We're just gonna keep going. I love you. Let's go on. Not everyone who wears baggy clothes is copying Billie Eilish. It's true. Not everyone who wears baggy clothes is copying Billie Eilish. You're allowed to wear whatever you want. You can take inspiration from people. And also if you are copying Billie Eilish, who freaking cares? She's an icon. You don't have to respect everyone's opinions. This is difficult because I feel like you don't have to have the same opinions or agree with everyone. But I think there's a certain level of respect to have for all human beings because we're all the same. When it really comes down to it, we're all just human beings living our lives and our circumstances and on the way we're raised, the way we live kind of creates our own opinions and what happens to us helps to shape our opinions and what we go through. And so I think to have respect for other humans is to have empathy and to show that you care for humans as a society. So I think it is important to respect everyone's opinion. That's my personal opinion, obviously. Learning languages isn't really that hard. You must be from another country other than the US because learning languages is really tough for the majority of people, I would say. Vines aren't funny, they're just boring. Uh, vines are absolutely hilarious and I'm pretty sure they're the reason I smile every day. Avocado is gross. Sorry, you're just wrong. Yeah, okay, so I hear you because avocado by itself, plain, is definitely just like a plain food, but it is a carrier for such delicious flavor that I have to disagree. Like guacamole, like onions, lime, a little bit of salt, pepper, boom, 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 delicious. Avocado Avocado toast with nutritional yeast on it. Delicious. Avocado with just Himalayan pink salt. Absolutely spectacular and superior. Avocado is the superior fruit. Instagram should take away likes. Absolutely agree. Please take away likes. I just want to enjoy art and content and make fun content and not worry whether I'm going to get 15,000 likes or 30,000 likes and how that affects my mood and how I let it affect my mood. I don't know, but this is my life and my career. So I feel like it's like really somehow has become so important to me, but it's literally a number of of validation through the internet. I really wish that it didn't give me so much validation, but truly like, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Like it's really hard to like see my posts not do well and like not be affected by it. I'm a human being, obviously that's gonna affect me. And I, and I truly wish that my ego wouldn't take my life over like that, but obviously it's my life. And so it affects me and I wish it didn't because I feel like a lot of my posts are fun and creative and I just want them to be absorbed and taken in and I shouldn't care about the likes, but I do. And I wish I did. <sighs> it's a constant cycle. And and if we didn't have likes, I feel like a lot of that kind of like mental health pressure and how social media can destroy our mental health would be kind of taken away. I feel like social media followers kind of creates this hierarchy of human beings. Like if you have more followers, you're like on top. And I'm not saying that that is truth. Like obviously I do not believe that, but I feel like a lot of people with influence and power feel like they have power over people that have less following. And I've also seen people with less following treat people with more following very differently. I just want to level the playing ground because we're all the same. We're all equal. And just because you have more followers does not mean you have more value. That's just the tea. Drake is a legend. I thought that was popular opinion, but I guess not. I was recently at Camp Vlogna where Drake was booed off stage. Not what I expected. Vlog coming soon from that. I'm honestly shocked. Your long hair was better. Ketchup is a condiment for all things, including by itself. That is the door. Thank you so much. No, if you guys have not followed me for even like 20 minutes, you would not know that ketchup is like the most disgusting thing in the world in my opinion. And I absolutely hate it. As a child, I could not look at it without crying. I hate ketchup. Some may call it a fear, a phobia. I hate the idea of ketchup, the smell of ketchup, the taste of ketchup, even though I've never tried it. It's disgusting. I hate everything about it. Don't put it near me. People who joke about it near me, I'm like, you're a fake friend. Like you're a fake fan, like none of that. No ketchup, no thank you. Thank you so much, just no thanks. Like, bye. And not only ketchup, but like anything having to do with- Also, this is not me farting, my bad. 
Anyways, ketchup is a no-go for me. Anything with tomatoes, even pizza with tomato sauce, not it, chief. Pasta with tomatoes, not, no. It's okay to have body hair, male or female. Truth, it's okay to have whatever you want. You're a human being, you have all the right in the world and do whatever you want. I don't shave my legs for months and nobody tells me different. And if they did, I wouldn't care, not even a flick. I don't like modern music. I definitely would say that I also prefer music from another generation in time other than a few artists. So I guess I, I agree with you there. Beyonce is overrated. I can't agree with you there. I think she is the queen. However, Rihanna is the queen queen. In my opinion, Rihanna, Beyonce, Rihanna, Beyonce. I'm sorry, I said it. I mean, I mean what I said. I said what I mean. And I'm gonna leave you with this one. Epstein didn't kill himself. That is a fact, a factual, provable fact. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. No, but in all seriousness, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these types of like chill sit down videos. I love you all so much with my heart and my life and my love. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go drink a glass of water. Before you go, I just want to say a quick few words about the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an easy to use online marketing tool that helps you to either create a website or a shop, anything that you might need to market yourself online. I'm currently making my own website with Squarespace. It'll be launching in February, just a heads up, so get ready for that. I love all the different tools that they offer, whether that be the blogging tools that they offer, the way that you can present a shop as well, a portfolio, an about section. There are so many different ways that you can use Squarespace to market yourself online. My personal favorite thing is the fact that I can share all of my different social media content on one page. So you guys will be able to keep up with all my content in one place. Another great tool that they offer is being able to monitor your traffic. So you can see all the different trends of what type of people are coming to your website, how many people are coming to your website, where they're really clicking, and you can just kind of see what it is that people are interested in. If you guys want to give it a try, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com backslash Tatiana for 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain.